Thank you. I'd like to call this meeting of the Zion City Council to order. Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner McDowell? Commissioner Fisher? Here. Commissioner McKinney? Here. Commissioner Dettine? Here. Mayor Hill? Here. Uh, just like to let everybody know, Commissioner McDowell is in uh, Israel with a group, mm -hmm. and uh, he'll be back shortly, and that's why he's not here tonight. Um, Pastor. Pray, let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you for all the good people that are in Zion and all the good people that work for Zion, Lord. Some of them in this room and the police department and the fire department and our schools, taking care of our streets. Thank you. Thank you for them. And thank you for the safety that we have had. Thank you for the safety of our police. And as uh, there's danger sometimes in Zion. And, mm -hmm. and thank you, Father, that yes. we haven't had more troubles in our schools. And mm -hmm. just thank you, Lord. And we ask that you would continue to give us good people, to keep us safe, Lord, we pray. And we ask, Father, that as we approach this Christmas season, that you would give us peace, yes. bring us peace. And we ask that you would make the Prince of Peace real to all of our hearts. And we thank you for that also. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Item number four is agenda changes. Do any of the commissioner have any agenda changes? I would like to uh, delete item 8B. If that meets with the uh, commissioner's uh, approval. So moved. I'd like to uh, have the commissioner uh, of uh, public safety here when we're talking about this issue. Um, is there a motion to approve the agenda as amended? amended? So moved. We have a motion? Second. And a second. Is there a discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Fisher? Aye. Commissioner McKinney? Aye. Commissioner Dettine? Aye. Mayor Hill? Aye. Item number five is citizens' comments. Uh, first on the list is uh, Mr. Bremner. Sirs, gentle ladies, I stand before you this evening to merely request a moment of silence out of respect for our late president, George H.W. Bush. If you will, please, sir. Yes, sir, I think that's a yes. wonderful suggestion. I'll take a moment, please. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Permission to stand down. Yes, sir. Denise, is it Leonard? Lear. Lear, okay. Hi. I'm sorry. My name is Denise Lear, and I'd like to introduce myself, first of all, to the City Council. I've been newly appointed to Zion School Board District 6. And um, Congratulations. I, thank you very much. And I will be running in the upcoming election in April. Uh, I have another issue. Um, on Sunday morning, December 2nd, the shooting that occurred occurred at my house. Not at my house, it occurred next door to me. I called the city police five times before I got a response. I understand they responded and I didn't possibly get the reaction. I, I called in a noise complaint and I possibly didn't get the reaction. The noise was cut down temporarily, but once the police left, the noise went up again. I was always under the assumption, I've been in Zion for over 50 years, when we had a party, 
we were told to notify the police, to call the police, let them know about the party, the hours, if anyone was on the street after two, to call back. In this case, in this young lady, this was not her first incident of having parties. I called last Saturday, the Saturday before at 5.30 in the morning to complain about the noise. And I don't know if anybody came out. But this Saturday, it took a shooting with 38 bullets in our yard and my car being destroyed before something happened. Now, I'm a senior citizen on a fixed income and I've got to come up with $500 to pay the deductible on my car because the property owner doesn't feel it's his responsibility. The young lady's on Section 8 and she's gone to Gurney to give them a problem and I'm stuck. And what does the city plan on doing? Chief, do you have any? Yes, uh, yes, Mayor. Uh, Ms. Larry, did you meet? You met with Deputy Chief Kirk Henderson today, right? No, sir. I talked to Mr. Henderson on the phone, oh. and he informed me, as a police officer did, one of the detectives was nice enough to tell me about a victim's relief fund, which I have been informed it's not through the city, it's not through the township. I have to apply through the state. Yeah, through the state's attorney's office. Right. Um, we did respond to that. I think he went over that with you. He's got yes, he did. Line. Yes, he did. Uh, we responded each time. Um, um, as an anonymous a caller, there's nothing we can do for the loud music except to ask him to turn it down. We can't enforce that without a citizen um, signing a complaint. I think he explained to you as, as police officers, we can't be alarmed and disturbed. We can't arrest people on disorderly conduct, et cetera, for what we you know, uh, encounter as okay. part of our job. So in order for us to do something with the loud music, we need somebody to sign a complaint. All we can do is go there and ask them to turn it down. After the third call, yeah. after I called your dispatcher the third time and I got a new dispatcher, that young man is the only one that asked me if I wanted to sign a complaint, at which time I told him, yes, I would. Okay. Yeah, that's not what I have in the notes here, but um, yeah. nevertheless, you know, we're kind of restricted in what we can do for that. And nobody's required to contact us and let us know they're having a party. Um, there's no ordinance that says they have to. Um, I agree with you. It's unfortunate that they get called there three times and then this party gets out of hand and turns into a shooting. Um, Maybe it's my misconception, but when, when Mr. Detine was police chief, I know we were under order to call the police if we had parties. <coughs> we called the police. I've been in Zion since I was in junior high school. We called the police for house parties. No, no obligation to do it. All right. Well. Okay, well, thank you anyway. Thank you for your time. And, you know, Ms. Lear, we can also help you um, with that victim's assistance if you want to stop over. We All can right. thank contact you. the state's attorney and look for you. Okay. Oh, I know my. Okay. Item number six is the consent agenda. Would the clerk please read the consent agenda? Approval of minutes of a special meeting held on November 13th, 2018 at 1 30 p.m. A regular meeting held on November 20th, 2018 at 7 p.m. Bills, vouchers 130832 through 130905 drawn on Huntington National Bank. Total $629,424.48. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Is there a motion and a second. Is there a discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Fisher? Aye. Commissioner McKinney? Aye. Commissioner Dettine? Aye. Mayor Hill? Aye. Item number seven is consider passing ordinances as follows. 7A is approving cable franchise agreement per administrator, Mabel. Thank you, Mayor and Commissioners. You have before you the franchise agreement with between the City of Zion and Comcast. Uh, the current franchise agreement is set to expire. This is just renewing the terms of the agreement. There are no significant changes um, to the agreement from what was in the past. The percentage that we can charge for the franchise fee is set by state statute. Um, there is provisions in there as there was in the prior contract for um, what's called a PEG capital fee. It's a public education uh, fee that um, we have used years ago. It, it was in place for a few years to pay for equipment and, and the cable access channel. That is in here again, and we are, just so you're aware, it's not part of this agreement, but we are looking at upgrading that system, um, getting quotes on that now. We would have to submit. But per the contract, we have to submit a capital replacement plan before any of that could be implemented anyway. But as presented, I would recommend approval of the agreement. Is there a motion to approve? 
So moved. I have a motion. Second. And a second. Is there a discussion? Uh, just to, uh, David, could you just please let the uh, public know how much we get in the, um, the fees? It, That's it, a question I asked earlier. Sure. It, it ranges. It's between 200 225000 a year in revenue from, from Comcast from this agreement. And that can be used for what? That's general purposes. Okay. And the uh, PEG fee? That has to be specifically for capital purchases or costs related to the running of that uh, okay. public access channel. So you're talking about in order to pay for these cameras and the software behind the scenes, right? The, okay. Yeah. Right. Everything needed to re in relation to the broadcast of that. We have a motion and a second. Is there further discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Fisher. Aye. Commissioner McKinney. Aye. Commissioner Detine. Aye. Mayor Hill. Aye. Seven B is for the establishment of Enterprise Zone in the City of Zion, the Village of Beach Park, and the Village of Winthrop Harbor. Subject to the Enterprise Zone Act of the State of Illinois per Administrator Naval. Thank you again, Mayor and Commissioners. We have two items on here tonight relating to the Enterprise Zone. Uh, Mr. Ribley from WCR Enterprises uh, made a presentation at a prior council meeting explaining the status uh, and mentioned that these ordinances will be coming before council. The first of those is just the uh, ordinance that authorizes us to enact an Enterprise Zone within the city. Part of that is the intergovernmental agreements that were that was discussed with Winter Harbor or yeah with Winter Harbor and Beach Park for certain uh, parts of the Enterprise Zone to include with our application that will help our our score as well as making a regional effort um, so this is just a procedural to enact Enterprise Zone to make it so the state can award it if, if we're successful in our application is there a motion Mm -hmm. I'll move to approve. A motion second. and a second. Is there a discussion? I'd like to point out that uh, I'd like to congratulate uh, Director Nabel, Mr. Ribley. Uh, we did get legislation through uh, uh, the Illinois um, Assembly that uh, now lists uh, nuclear power plant, uh, decommissioned nuclear power plants as a brownfield that was not in the original uh, definition of brownfield so that'll allow us to get extra points uh, to make it more likely that uh, we would get uh, the enterprise designation and I, our, our uh, lobbying efforts uh, um, were successful and I particularly want to thank uh, Senator Bush for the efforts that she put through she sponsored the bill and uh, did a really nice job of uh, getting that through the assembly so uh, we're hopeful that that will give us uh, another tool that this will We'll get the designation. It will give us another tool to attract businesses to town. So we have a motion and a second. Further discussion? Uh, I have one question. Uh, if we do get the, uh, the zone approved, um, the zone management board that's listed in the uh, ordinance, it's one representative appointed by each municipality. Is there a restriction? Who would it have to be uh, a council member or would it be uh, staff or do we have some flexibility on that? I, it, it can be staff that's appointed to to the board. Okay. It can be staff, curious. but it could be an elected <laughs> representative right. also. Yeah. I'm assuming. Can it, can, yeah, it can be. <laughs> Look at Mr. Ripley because he's the expert on this. So <laughs> that's why my head's spinning. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. But it doesn't it have to be right. staff, but that's that's typical probably for consistency of, of the life of the the enterprise zone versus potential turnover of elected officials. Right, right. And, and I guess that's another thing that I'd like to, like, that you just you know, you brought it up, that uh, this is an enterprise zone that includes Zion with the Harbor and Beach Park, and it's a, I think it's the um, uh, offshoot of the cooperation that has developed between the three municipalities in the last few years. I, I want to uh, uh, thank uh, uh, Mayor Hucker and also uh, um, Mr. Mayor Bruno uh, for uh, working with us on this and this gives us a much better chance of being designated as an enterprise zone since it's three municipalities working together. So uh, thanks to them. Is there further discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Fisher? Aye. Commissioner McKinney? Aye. Commissioner Dettine? Aye. Mayor Hill? Aye. 
Item 7C is enacting a policy statement expressing a commitment to encourage the development of business entities and the hiring of individuals defined as minorities, women, and persons with disabilities within the Zion Benton Enterprise Zone per Administrator Nabel. Thank you, Game Mayor Commissioners. This is the second item. Uh, Mr. Ribley discussed this during his presentation as well. It's a new scoring item that comes into play uh, during the Enterprise Zone uh, procedure, and um, we could get points basically for encouraging, as it, as it says, encouraging uh, <coughs> employment or ownership of businesses that hire individuals with minorities, that are minorities, women, or individuals with disabilities, um, which is something that we try and encourage anyway through various things with grants that we get and things of that nature. So I would recommend approval of the ordinance. Is there a motion? So, so we have a motion second. and a second. Is there a discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Fisher? Aye. Commissioner McKinney? Aye. Commissioner Dettine? Aye. Mayor Hill? Aye. Item 7D is to sell certain property within the city of Zion per Director Ionson. Thank you, Your Honor. Attaches the ordinance and the sales uh, agreement for the purchase of 1529 33rd Street sale of uh, surplus property. I make a motion that we uh, approve the sale of certain property within the city. As a motion. Is there a second? Second. And a second. Is there a discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Fisher? Aye. Commissioner McKinney? Aye. Commissioner Dettine? Aye. Mayor Hill? Aye. Item 8 is discussion, authorization, and approval. 8A is tabulation of bids, cleaning, and maintenance services for City Hall, Police Administration, Public Works for Director Ionson. Thank you, Your Honor. The city received two responsive bids for the cleaning and maintenance service for City Hall, Police Administration, and Public Works. VMG Quality Service for $38,400. Multi System Management Company, $39,540. Staff is recommending the lowest responsible bidder, VMG Quality Services, for $38,400. Is there a motion? There's a motion. Uh, yes. I make a motion to a motion. Yes. Second. And a second. Is there a discussion? Where is VMG from? That's, uh, I'm Schomburg. That's a company that was here for eight years prior to losing the contract the year before. They're here inside. Okay. Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Fisher? Aye. Commissioner McKinney? Aye. Commissioner Dutine? Aye. Mayor Hill? Aye. Item 8C is consider approval of CDBG commercial sign and facade improvement program reimbursement to IGH LLC DBA Culver's of Zion for Director Naval. Thank you, Mayor Commissioners. This was a CDBG grant that we got from the county for uh, facade improvements, for general improvements throughout the city for that anyone could have, any business could apply for. Um, we're just the administrators on the contract, so it's basically a pass-through. We oversee uh, the application process and then make sure the work gets performed. Um, and then we have to come to council for approval of the, the payment under the grant terms by the county to the, to the vendor, to the business, basically. So I would recommend the approval uh, of the reimbursement to IGH LLC in the amount of $3,408.75 under the, the grant terms. Is there a motion? I believe. We have a motion. Second. second. And a second. Is there a discussion? Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Fisher? Aye. Commissioner McKinney? Aye. Commissioner Dettine? Aye. Mayor Hill? Aye. Um, number, item number nine is departmental commentary. Department heads have anything they'd like to say? I would just like to, uh, I'm going to read something very short here. Um, and it, it involves the uh, lawsuits that the city's been involved in for the last, uh, some of them have been going for, uh, I guess, five or six years. And uh, we, we, I think we've had, we have seven times that we've been sued in the last, most of them started quite a while, quite a while ago. 
Um, we've won. There were two suits uh, that involved the police, or excuse me, there were four suits that involved the police department. Uh, th three of them have been settled. Uh, th three of them have been completed. Uh, we won on two of them. We did settle on one of the uh, uh, complaints, and there is one still pending. We had three lawsuits. Two of them were uh, uh, regarding the rental inspection program, and the third one was involving the vacant, uh, vacant property uh, registration. And we, we won the first one on the rental uh, inspection program. We won the, the uh, one on the uh, vacant property registration, and we had another one on the uh, rental program, and I just want to uh, read this from our attorneys, and because I want to make this announcement, I want people to understand that uh, we get sued, and in our best judgment, we decide whether we're going to fight the suit or settle the suit. And I think uh, for a number of years we were settling suits because the insurance company um, finds it cheaper to settle than it does to go to court. And we've had taken a different approach to this. Uh, we basically said if we think we're right, um, we will um, thank the insurance company, but we're, we, will, we will continue with the lawsuit. And we've been very, very successful. And uh, I want people to understand that uh, uh, we will fight these when we think we're right. And uh, this one says, and I, I find this uh, very, I'm happy, really happy to read this. It says, however, it is absolutely acceptable for Mayor Hill to announce that the city has prevailed in the lawsuit filed by 77 property owners. And there were set, these are 77 landlords that filed a joint uh, uh, class action suit against the city on the rental inspection programs out of, how many landlords do we have? 1,400? Yeah, 1,400. We have 14 or 1,500 landlords. These 77 decided to, to, uh, to, to sue the city. Um, the property owner challenging the city's authority to enact a rental inspection program. I think it is also fine to say that Judge Ortiz found that the ordinance was a valid exercise of the city's police powers and was rationally related to public safety, code compliance, and nuisance abatement. Further, Judge Ortiz found that the registration fees did not invalidate the ordinance. They're, they were saying that we put a, a fee on the uh, rental inspections and that therefore it was, a, it was a, uh, an, an extra tax. And uh, what the judge has said is that it wasn't, we, we were instituting a fee to cover our expenses on this program and therefore it's not a tax. So uh, we won that yesterday and I just wanted to announce that, that that's where we are on our, on our lawsuits that have been going on and I think we only have one more out there. Um, Item number 10 is announcements. December 18th at 6.15, there'll be a public hearing on the tax levy in uh, Zion Township Board meeting. At 7 p.m., there'll be a public hearing on the tax levy at the Zion City Council meeting. December 24th, 25th, and 31st, and January 1, the city offices will be closed for the holidays. January 15th at 6.15 p.m., the Zion Township Board meeting, and 7 p.m., the Zion City Council meeting. The City Council meeting originally scheduled for January 1st. Uh, we have just decided that we're not going to hold that uh, meeting and we will meet on the 15th. Um, item number 11 is adjournment. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. A motion? Second. And a second. Is there a discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carry. We are adjourned. Denise? Denise? Bill, I want to thank you very much for helping me over the crazy minute. I really appreciate it. Very embarrassing. Walk around with this thing.